Hey guys, welcome back to Fruitopia here in Melbourne, Australia. Today I just wanted to quickly showcase something really uh, unusual and out of the ordinary and it's not this banana flower which just opened like um, maybe two, three weeks ago. You can see the first fingers coming out of it there. So I'm showing this because I want to compare it to the next banana flower that I'm going to show you, right? So if you get a banana, I'm, I'm talking to you guys in the cooler climates, right? If you get a banana that looks that small, a banana blossom or um, uh, um, a rack like that one, don't be um, sad. Well, it can be a little sad, I guess, <laughs> but don't be... Don't give up is what I'm trying to say, right? That's pretty darn small. And I'm here to tell you that's not normal. That's very abnormal um, size. It's pretty small. So yeah, you'll get small banana fingers from that, but uh, better, uh, better than nothing. Okay, so now we're gonna go and show you the next banana uh, flower or blossom that we have here at Fruitopia on the same day in the same garden and it's here in the front yard right on the other side on the other side of these uh, trees let's go and have a look you won't believe it guys I couldn't believe it either I've had one of these huge um, flowers before and this is not the norm. It would be nice if they were all this big. But um, yeah, this is like extremely rare. Are you, okay, are you guys ready to have a look? Check it out. The largest banana flower that you'll ever see. I was going to say in Melbourne. But guys, you won't see a banana flower that large even in um, the tropics. Whether it's Queensland, Darwin, Hawaii... Florida uh, as being the usual right the usual banana flower is half that size that's massive so that came last week and it's ready to unveil its uh, um, fingers or fruit check it out let me do a wide angle so you can see how here we have a an avocado tree and another avocado tree. We've got bananas. We've got dragon fruit coming on a, on a sh uh, makeshift um, trellis. And there's that uh, banana clump, right? With its uh, latest f uh, flower. Look at the size of it. It's going to lay the... Um, the fruit very close to the to the rack down here when when the, when the fruit comes over the next 12 months that's gonna take 12 months that's gonna take 12 months for the fruit to ripen before they're ready to eat it's not just it's gonna open next week and then we're gonna eat them <laughs> doesn't work like that but check it out huh isn't that awesome here's another view from the side before it was um, uh, a frontal view, this is a side view, right? Check it out, guys. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm sharing this to encourage you that you too might get a, a banana uh, flower come bunch of bananas too here in the cooler climate. And I've reinforced these uh, tall bananas with a bungee cord. See that cord? Right? Just to make sure that it doesn't topple in a high wind. We get a lot of wind here. We get a lot of wind. So um, there's another bunch there, which was also pretty big. That opened... Uh, 10 months ago so in 10 months they're still not ready these won't be ready for another oh gee four months yeah closer to winter 
So yeah, it's going to take a year and a half for that bunch to be ready from the time that the, the flower opened. And that's leaning over my, my neighbor's fence. Yeah. All right. So hope you got a buzz out of that as far as uh, flowers go. Banana flowers. Check it out. Check it out. Massive. And now this is a, a rear view. Right? I'm um, underneath the, the dragon fruit trellis. Which I still haven't shared with you guys. But that video is coming. Be patient. So the sun currently is... I'm facing the camera towards the sun. It's cloudy today. But that's where the sun is up there. So that's why it looks dark. Yeah. So there's no sign of bananas yet banana fingers but they're coming another week hang on or, or is there no it's locked it's locked they'll be coming from in there there's the cavity in there there they are in there next week when that, when that opens it's gonna stretch open all right guys that's today's fun video from uh, from Melbourne Australia and before you ask me what variety, what cultivar it is, I have to guess and say it's a goldfinger. I know for sure this one here is a dwarf um, ducas or namwa. They have different words in uh, other parts of the world. Okay guys, over and out. <laughs>